trying to see if uh, you publish a book or something to see how do you accommodate this model of the jazz in the mandala and, and the raga, raga music in the mandala, mandala. I would love it to see it, you know, like in image because I cannot imagine like right now. It would be amazing to see this model. I mean, like, yes, yes, a symbol and quickly on this new app. Also, sorry. Yeah? Yes, I'm here. We're just lagging a little bit. So uh, let's hope. Yeah. Okay. So the next question, when I don't know if it's a question or it's a comment, but I, um, mm -hmm. I've been studying a lot of quantum energy these days. And uh, they but have, they this. say that well, time doesn't exist. In reality, there exist different realities at the same time of yourself and myself. These different realities of um, the music at the same time, you know, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And also, they, mm -hmm. uh, also is this kind of theory that I make in my head, I don't know what is, if you have something, if you verify that mandala and music, um, they are connected with this quantum energy and traveling in time, you know? I mean, mm. I don't know why I say this because I kind of, uh, I verified when I did many mandalas, <laughs> draw many mandalas, observe many mandalas, and hear the music and the different scales and rhymes, rhymes, I was like, oh God, I'm just like traveling, traveling in time, you know? Mm -hmm, Even if mm -hmm. the physical, the physical doesn't move, you know? It's another part of you that moves in time, on time. And it's like, oh my God, <laughs> what is this, you know? Um, so sometimes it can be, I say it can be dangerous to approach alone to these uh, tools or, or because if you are not a kind of uh, really rooted or landed, you can be totally dysregulated yourself, you know? Yes, yes. So, I mean, I don't know if you really verify this, how do you verify? If it's related with consciousness, awareness. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yes, no, I think I, I would say that I have shared share with you experiences of of that kind, which I think initially through jazz, it got me looking into spiritual matters because I couldn't with my Western, very secular worldview, there was no way that I could understand what was happening to me. There was no language. Um that I, I found in my life um, in the, in the kind of the mainstream, for instance. And, and so I think that was one reason why I did go to India. And I think it's also one reason why I was so attracted. And, and I, I really, um, my goal became to play a raga traditionally because at one point, my guru uh, Shantanuji said to me, the potency of the raga is infinite. And I said, I, I have no idea what that means. You know, like I had no way to understand what that meant, but there was something that I knew I could feel when he sang and what, and eventually like years, years into it, I started to generate that feeling um, or, or, or some feeling, which was very opening um, beyond the, the normal habitual way in which I experienced myself and experienced time. And so I think that you're, you're, you're exactly right. It, you're also, uh, I think, very right to say it can be dangerous. And I, I have very, uh, I had a lot of experiences after leaving my guru's home, um, either one of my guru's homes, or even after sitting with a, a master musician in their home, um, playing music or listening to their music intimately in intimate spaces. And I would leave and I would feel completely discombobulated, like, my, my, my whole, my being was kind of shook up and like upside down and inside out. And, um, you know, I, I think that it can, it can be dangerous because I think that if we take the, the logic of what we've been speaking about as that Bindu point as being really the, the infinite 
the opening to the infinite, the unbinding of ourselves as finite beings and, and, and through a praxis though, through a, not through, you know, just jumping off the edge, you know, like <laughs> it's sort of through a, a slow and steady um, internalization of these structures of these cultures that, that, um, that have these practices and raga music being the one I'm speaking about. But I think that that would be one of the aims and goals that I learned raga music as, as an interface with the divine as a, and another way to think about the divine would be the unbound infinity, the, the radical infinite. And so I think that um, I've been, I think that raga music helped me learn a, a, a practice along these lines with that goal. And I think that was a goal of mine from even from my earlier time, but it helped me give, give me a, a language. It, it situated that, that question of what is this mystical experience in a whole, like thousands of years of history with so many different experiences that the yogis and other people have shared. And I think that I've brought, brought that question really strongly back into my life as a experimental musician. And that would be, um, that would be along the lines of, of what I was saying a little earlier. It's like, well, we have these structures like Araga that can create this kind of uh, mandala like structure that, that is a, a yantra or a mandala in becoming and you enter into it and there's a ritual that happens and you kind of, uh, you kind of create, you kind of cultivate your aesthetic intuition to uh, align things. And at a certain point, you kind of start merging or you get the power of the infinite, you know, like you get the power of that to some degree, or you, um, you start, you start channeling the Raga deity. Um, that would be another way to speak about it, which is of another order as well, which is a different kind of non, non-human kind of power in a way. And, and I think that bringing that back into my relationship with Western music, there are musicians. I was just listening to a record of Cecil Taylor, for instance, who was really one of the first uh, really great le like legends and kind of, I, I, he's a, I would call him a mystic for sure as well in his music anyway. And, um, and I think that these, these kind of structures are there. It's just, it's so hard for us to find them because it's not given to us from the past. Like a raga, the structure of the raga is given to us from the past, whereas in in this other tradition, parts of it are. There's a, there's definitely parts of it. He is playing a piano. He is using elements of of you know harmonic tension and release in some ways, but he's also using a lot of other elements. And Coltrane did the same thing. He kind of ruptured and kind of he started he started his creativity was moving faster than where jazz was at in a way, and he started kind of bursting out of of the container of jazz but bringing something new into it as well well and so i think that, that, that i've been trying to look more at how that's happening in jazz and how these structures are are there's there's, there's like layers of multiplicities different types of directions that that you could you can listen to let's say a series of 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 individuating kind of phrases or or uh, affects and and kind of how does how does that assemble itself in the act of improvisation? So that's sort of where I'm at. But yeah, I really resonate with what you said, and I do think that that breaking out of, into breaking out of the calculable, calculatable, or breaking out of what is can be understood as a as an analytic or like some kind of a, a calculation. I think breaking beyond that is what art has always seemingly done. <laughs> There's always something that can, can't be, you can't rationalize it in the sense of like, well, that makes sense according to this analytic. There's something about art that does something to you that's like, is 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 the unknown. It's bringing the unknown. It's bringing the infinite. It's, it's bringing the divine in. And so that's that's how I, my my engagement with um, integral yoga in India, learning ragas, and now you know re um, re addressing and re. Um, kind of situating myself back into the Western tradition. This is where I'm kind of exploring and experimenting.